In today's video, I'm unboxing a Boxy Lux starter box for October 2020. But first, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad you decided to come and hang out with me for a while today. If you've not yet subscribed, I'd love it if you would hit that subscribe button. Also, if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up before you leave. I would just like to take a second to thank all of you who sent well wishes uh, after my last video of my um, giveaway winner when it was clear that I wasn't feeling well. Um, I'm not 100% yet, I'm not, not going to lie, but i um, taking a little bit of medication. I've got a cup of hot tea here, so we're going to see how it goes. So many things delivered while I was sick. Uh, most of what you saw last week was pre-filmed, and um, my office right now, which is where I film, looks like a, a FedEx truck exploded in here. <laughs> There's so much stuff, so I'm going to see how much we can get done today, um, and then I'll just edit them over the next few days, and, and hopefully by the time I'm filming next time, I'll be back to 100%. So forgive me if I'm a little less than 100% right now, but I'm trying. Also, if you have any interest in this look that I'm wearing today, I did film a Get Ready With Me that will be up probably later this week uh, after I get the unboxings and things like that done. Um, but I did film it because it is new products. Um, some are new uh, in general and some are just new to me. But um, if you have any interest, uh, I will be posting that probably later in the week. So... BoxyCharm Lux Starter Box, something I didn't even know existed. But let me back up a little bit. BoxyCharm is a monthly subscription box. It costs $25 a month. You get five full-size beauty items. They say you have an average value of those boxes of, I want to say it's $175. Um, and you get, as I said, five full-size beauty items, makeup, skincare, beauty tools, that kind of stuff. Now, BoxyCharm subscribers have two options that they can choose for upgrading. They can add a second box every month, which is Boxy Premium. It's $35 instead of $25, and you get six to seven full-size items with an average value of $215. And you can get that either in place of or in addition to your base box. But those who have the base box also have the option to, to upgrade to what is called Boxy Deluxe, and that is a quarterly upgrade to your base box. So every third month, instead of getting your $25 base box, you would get a Boxy Lux box, which is $49.99. Instead, you get eight or more beauty and lifestyle items, and they say the average value on those boxes is $395. Now, you can't upgrade premium to Lux. It's only a base upgrade, but you can get base with premium, base with Lux, or base with Lux and premium, or just premium. That's kind of the way it goes, or just base. But anyway, I upgraded my second subscription, which is the one that is a little bit younger in her profile, um, to add Boxy Lux. Again, just to see, I'm, I'm kind of looking to see if there's a difference in the kinds of products that we get based on age. Um, my main subscription does have my current age, which is 54, and my second subscription is uses the year I graduated high school as my birth year, so it's 18 years younger. But I added Lux in October, which was not a Lux month, so um, I wasn't expecting to actually get a Lux box until the next one, I believe, is December. But they went ahead and charged me the difference between a base box and a Lux box, which is $24.99, and sent me a Lux starter box in the month of October. So I got my base box, and then I've got this Lux starter box. I think the idea is to kind of give you a flavor for what might be in a Lux box, or kind of the, the difference between the two. Now, normally the base box and the Lux box don't have, it's not like you get a base box, the same items that you would get in a base box, and then a few extra. They're usually completely different boxes. But in this case, I got my base box and now my starter box. So let's check out and see what is in the Boxy Lux starter box. 
So it does look like your typical, you know, monthly box. You know, Hello Charmers, and it is red inside. And then um, there is a card, but instead of the usual theme, it's just a regular boxy charm card. But it does give the products that are in the starter box, and there are four products in here. And I believe the idea is that they give you products from prior Lux boxes to give you a flavor of the kind of things that you would receive. So um, I do have the products here and the retail prices, although those of you who've been around before know, I did go out and double check the prices just to make sure, not that BoxyCharm is lying to us, but sometimes their information may not be current. Let's go that way. So the first product is from Hallmark Collectibles, and it is a canvas cosmetic bag. It comes in this really pretty nice heavyweight drawstring bag, too. This is like this would be great to like take to the beach or like when you're on vacation, remember vacation? Or when you're traveling, maybe you'll be traveling for the holidays or something and the last day of your vacation and you've got to like you've got a, a damp washcloth or something or if you want to, you know, throw you know, small launderable items in this so that they're not mixed in with your clean clothes. Um, this is a good thing to have. Or again, if you're going somewhere warm, you use this to throw your bathing suit in so that it doesn't get everything in your bag damp. So this is the canvas cosmetic bag. And it, the zippers are round. And here on the front, there's a little cosmetics. They say that this canvas cosmetic bag with a bow although this bow is just a ribbon that's tied on here, so you could remove that, um, is the perfect size to store makeup, skincare, and glam goodies. Use it at home for all your products or when you're headed on a trip to pack your toiletries. Um, I actually have a road trip in November to um, head down south for Thanksgiving. We see my in-laws at Thanksgiving, it's the only time their family gets together during the year, where they get most of the siblings together. And um, not everyone is coming this year because of the situation, but um, this will also give us a chance to spend a little time in our new retirement home, which we are not moving into right away because we're committed to staying here in New Jersey. So, well, as long as my parents are still with us, I am incredibly blessed to still have both of my parents in their mid 80s. Um, with me so we'll be living here most of the time but we will snowbird and vacation in Florida and as many of you know I'm a big Disney nerd Disney World nerd so um, that will also give me a base of operations it's not right in the Orlando area but it's a little over an hour away so that'll work so this will actually be great to throw things in in the car so that because um, we are road tripping, taking the dog, and this will mean, you know, I can throw just the stuff I'll need in the car, you know, throw some deodorant and toothbrush and toothpaste and whatever else, because we are going to, we are planning to drive straight through, um, just switching off who's driving and who's sleeping, so this will be nice to be able to freshen up when we need to, so, uh, retail price on this is $32, not a bad start. So, okay, our next item. <laughs> this one's from Byro, New York, and if you're a boxy person or if you've been watching the unboxings last month, you know it well. This is the Byro, New York Tomato Serum. This is a powerful anti-aging treatment, reveals radiant, youthful-looking skin. It's a highly concentrated treatment serum. Hydrating formula visibly reduces the appearance of imperfections and improves the look of skin texture for soft, smooth, and clarified complexion. How gorgeous is that? <laughs> Uh, this is one ounce or 30 milliliters. It is a full size. The retail value on this one is $150. Um, I got a couple of these in add-ons and um, in mystery boxes to put in giveaways, um, but I'm not unhappy to have an extra one for myself as a backup because I haven't even tried it yet because I'm trying to use up stuff I already had open, but I hear really good things about it, so I'm kind of happy to have 
an extra one because if I like it as much as I suspect I will, I'm not going to want to pay $150 because that's just crazy. It, tell me if I'm wrong. Now, I have no problem paying for good quality skincare, but when we get these boxes, these subscription boxes, and we can get such really good stuff, unless it's like holy grail, I don't see the reason to go out and pay $150 when two months from now I may get another serum that maybe it's a little bit different, And um, but unless this is like the thing that, you know, I use this for a week and suddenly I'm looking like I'm 22 instead of 54. Okay, then I'll pay $150 for it. Otherwise, I have a lot of serums that I get in boxes and I enjoy trying them all. So let me know what you think. Okay, let's look at what our next item is. Because there are four, so that's two. Uh, okay, here's another one that we actually saw this in the Lux box this time. And this is from Fenty Beauty. This is the Kilowatt Foil Freestyle Highlighter Duo. And this is a weightless long wear cream powder hybrid highlighter. Comes in solos and duos. This is a duo with a hyper metallic finish born in a colorful range of rule defying shades designed to make all skin tones pop. Create colorful dimension from cheeks to eyes to temples, blurring the line where your highlight begins and your eyeshadow ends. I received, in my original box by the way, I received can't remember what it was, but it was way too bronze for me, so it's actually going in a giveaway. Um, and then I went out and bought uh, a very pale, just a basic champagne-y kind of color. This time I got Seven Day Weekend and Poolside Duo, which looks like we got a, a sort of a metallic violet and they call it a metallic orchid. So let's open this up and check it out. I'm going to guess this is not a shade I'm going to use as a highlighter, but I'm hoping it'll be work. Ooh, hoping that it'll work as an eyeshadow. Oh, look at that. That is so, oh, let me turn down that mirror so I don't blind you, but the colors on that are just gorgeous. Yeah, those will be eyeshadows for me, but I'm not unhappy with that. Maybe the pink. I mean, no. Even the pink's going to be too much, but, well, I could use that sort of as a blush topper, and the other as an eyeshadow, but, yeah, I'm much happier with this than the, I was in my actual Lux box, because the one that I got was just too bronze. Again, I was going to look like a pumpkin, you know. I know some redheads like to go, you know, all the bronzes and whatever, but part of it is my skin tone, because I am, uh, I, I've got very cool skin. Um, it's sort of not cool like when you test foundations and stuff it's it's natural to like or whatever that middle is neutral to cool it's not like it's stark you know stark cool but a lot of these bronzes and stuff just even before I went back to my strawberry blonde that I grew up um, even with the blonde hair I felt like I looked like a pumpkin so I'm much happier with this one than I was with the one I got in my actual Luxe box, so not unhappy even a little bit. And tea. Oh, retail. Retail value on this $36. Again, I paid $24.99. So um, every product so far has been more of retail value individually than what I paid for the box. Okay, our last item. This one I didn't get on my Lux box, and I really wanted, and I thought maybe I'd get it in my premium box. I didn't get it there either, so I'm really excited because some of you know how much I love brushes. This is the Pure Signature Travel Essentials 12-piece brush set. Um, the Signature Travel Essentials is an expertly curated 12-piece cruelty-free brush set with cup, and there's the this way so you can see it better. You can see a little pure written here. Contains professional quality makeup brushes created to cover, sculpt, blend, and distribute with precision and less fallout. A luxurious blend of irresistibly soft synthetic fibers. These are vegan friendly makeup brushes designed to pick up and distribute makeup evenly and precisely with less fallout. So here they are. Let's see if we can get a quick 
they have anything on them that will tell you what they are. Now they're just numbers on them. So, but we've got, and they are definitely travel because they're shorter, but you do have that angle, a nice angle brush. I use these for doing, using um, eyeshadow as eyeliner, which is what I have today. Um, so we've got two, three, four, well, you could actually use that for lip maybe. We got, all right, so we have, I'm going to call these your eye brushes, and we do have a brush and comb that you can use for your brows, and I think people use these for their eyelashes, but I haven't quite figured out how they do that without stabbing themselves in the eye. And then face brushes as well. Um, I will open one of them. I I actually wanted the case more than the brushes because, you know, for travel and stuff, but oh, that is very soft. Yeah, I'm going to be happy with that. And, it, and it's pink, and I love pink. So, um, so yeah, I mean, there's the the biggest, fluffiest brush, just for example's sake. Um, so, yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. The, the set with the cup retails for $49. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I have a road trip coming at Thanksgiving. Um, and in January, uh, my spouse is retiring. So uh, we do have a house down in Florida, and we're going to do the same thing, drive down there uh, and spend hopefully a little more time um, than we're able to at Thanksgiving um, and try and kind of go back and forth between the two houses. So the ability to have something like this for brushes, uh, even if I don't use these brushes in it, um, the box, the, the container is tall enough that, well, maybe not some of, I think some of my wrapper brushes will be fine in it. Um, certainly can't bring all of my brushes, but some of them anyway. I do also have another one of these, a taller one from ColourPop. Um, but again, I just think these are fantastic for traveling with brushes. So, like I said, I really wanted this. I looked for it in the add-ons and it either wasn't there or it was already sold out. So the fact that they put it in here, um, I couldn't be happier. This alone made the box for me because I really wanted it and I sought it out and I actually considered buying it directly from Pure Website, so I'm glad it came in this box. So that was my Lux starter box. We got the Hallmark Collectible Canvas Cosmetic Bag, the Tomato Serum from Byron New York, the Fenty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo, and the Pure Travel Brush Set. Um, again, I paid $24.99, which is the difference between the price of a base box and a Lux box, and the total value of these four items is $267. Um, and even if you take away the serum, because I know some people are like, yeah, but prices of those serums and things are ridiculous and stuff, even if I took this out, these three items, all of which I will use, um, each of these was more than $24.99. And the three of them together would be, you know, $117. So even this alone would have been worth the $24.99. Um, but I love my serums. I've gotten a lot more into skincare. Um, just, and my love for skincare really started as sort of self-care during the recent unpleasantness. And uh, trying to, you know, as a way to, you know, like I said, self-care, take care of myself. So... Let me know down in the comments what you think about this Lux starter box. Um, I don't remember them telling me when I subscribed, when I upgraded to it, that they were going to do this. So if I wasn't prepared for it, that could have been a very unpleasant surprise coming out of my checking account. Um, thankfully, it was going on to a credit card where that $25 in like, you know, not that I didn't notice it, but it wasn't that big of a deal. And I certainly feel like I got my money's worth, but... If anybody else has done a, a Lux subscription where they've gotten one of these starter boxes, let me know. I mean, did they tell you? Because if they're not, we really need to be letting people know that. Um, what do you think of the items that they put in the starter box? I, you know, I'm pretty happy with it. Would you have been happy if you got these? Um, but let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't done it already. And thank you for spending your time hanging out with me today. Please stay safe and stay well. Be kind to yourself.
and I'll see you real soon. Bye.